Welcome to the Thrive Podcast. If you want to thrive in your life and business while keeping God first, you're in the right place. This is the show for leaders who want to leave a legacy of love, encouragement, and generosity. You want to be remembered for the way you positively impacted the lives of others and made a lasting difference. You want God to order your steps. Sometimes you just need a nudge in the right direction to take those steps. The Thrive Podcast will help you take the right steps, overcome obstacles, and equip you for the kind of success that matters to you. And now your host, Giovanna Lady J. Ellison. So today I want to offer a prayer for special favor in your life. You know, there's something incredibly special about you. And if you're watching this, I already know two things about you. Number one, you are somebody who has already accomplished amazing things in your life. And number two, you're someone who wants to grow even more. More than likely, you're a leader and you are someone who other people come to for encouragement, for wisdom, for advice. And so I want to pray a special prayer for favor upon your life. If you are new here and you're just tuning in for the first time, welcome in. My name is Giovanna, Lady J. Ellison, and I am committed to helping leaders like you thrive in life and in business while keeping God first. You know, sometimes you may not feel favored. You may not feel like God's grace, his unmerited favor is upon your life. But I want to encourage you with the words of Psalm chapter one. It says here, Blessed is the one whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. Verse three, that person is like a tree planted by streams of water. And you know, when you are planted, when your roots are firm, no matter what may come up against you, you are planted, you are steady, you are stable, you are resilient. You know, there's a, uh, where I come from, we have a lot of palm trees. And so a palm tree, when a storm comes, it can bend all the way, almost touch the ground. And you would think that with all the wind and the rain and the thunder and the storm, that it would break that tree. But nope, that's not what happens. It bounces right back up and is even stronger than before. You are resilient and favor is upon your life. So let me pray this prayer over you now. Father, I thank you right now for those who are watching. I thank you for their life. I thank you for what you're doing in their life. And Father, right now, someone is watching who doesn't feel favored. They know that your hand is upon them. They have uh, accomplished great things in their life, but they're at a point right now where they are not feeling like they used to, or they're not feeling as encouraged as they encourage everyone else. Father, I pray a special blessing on them right now that you would remind them of how incredibly valuable that they are, that you would remind them that their life has meaning, it has significance, it has purpose. Oh God, so many are driven to achieve and to succeed. Father, I pray that you would help them to look back on the things that you have done for them already. Help them to look back on the victories, hallelujah, hallelujah, that you have blessed them to have. Help them to remember the miracles of grace that you have already worked in their life. God, I pray for favor. I pray for special blessings this season. I pray for an anointing that destroys yokes in their life. Father, I know that nothing it's too hard for you. And so we bless you, we magnify you, and we glorify you now in Jesus' name. Thank you for their life. Thank you for the great things that are on the way in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Listen, if you have prayed that prayer, I just want you to type in the chat, type in the comments, there is favor on my life. There is favor on my life. And you know, favor, oftentimes it isn't fair, is it? <laughs> Sometimes people think something else should have happened. This ought to happen. But listen, you are God's daughter. You are God's son. And he loves you with an unconditional love. Make sure that as you walk in favor, don't walk with your nose up in the air. Don't be self-centered. Don't be full of pride. Instead, walk in humility. Walk in love. Walk in graciousness. Walk in kindness. Walk in wisdom. 
because favor will allow you to do that. And, you know, it comes from a mindset of abundance, meaning that, you know, yes, you are favored, but so is the next person. And so there's enough room. There's enough to go around for everyone. And so I hope that you've been encouraged today. Listen, be sure that you subscribe to this channel uh, so that more people can be a part of what's going on here. And then share this with another leader, with someone who also wants to keep God first in their life and in their business so that they can go to the top. You all, I am so excited about what's getting ready to come. We have some spectacular interviews on the way for you. In fact, we're going to be interviewing some of the VIP presidents of global uh, leadership companies like Goldman Sachs and other uh, breakthrough companies. You do not want to miss what's coming down the line. So I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Again, we are all about helping high achievers, leaders, those who are committed to keeping God first in your business, helping you thrive in life and in business while keeping God first. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. It's your time. Are you a coach, entrepreneur, or leader? Are you someone who wants to keep God first in your business? Well then, it's your time to shine. Join the exclusive mastermind of world-class leaders inside Thrive, led by Giovanna Lady J. Ellison. Get ready to clarify your purpose, amplify your strengths, and thrive financially from what you already know. Sign up today at Giovanna.com. That's J-E-V-O-N-N-A-H.com.